Happy to take any questions. Oh, sir, why are the loudspeakers telling people in New York and stuff be calm moments before the bomb went off? Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and promote homeland security by sticking a hand down on the pants on the streets? No. Next question. You have said that there is no suspect, but is there a person of interest either at part? This uh, Godlike Productions and other news sites are like down. I don't know if it's for the flood of traffic, which yes, it probably is some of that, but um, some of them are like completely down. Um, I don't know. With that said, you have the explosions that have happened in Boston. Two explosions. April 15th, 2013. So the signs of 666 did ring true on this day. And as the metals fall and the world is distracted, certain news forums are steering people in the wrong direction, trying to make them think that this is definitely not a terrorist attack. They're saying we by no means are saying that this is the FBI. I mean, it's fine. Slowly, you'll see the evil, demonic expressions in her face, as well as her eyes change pitch black, like black marbles. change her tongue is going to be filled with the a tremendous amount of veins pay close attention Facial features change. Look at her neck. It's going to look like something is coming out of her neck or coming into her neck. It's very, very satanic and very disgusting looking. quick she's morphing her tongue if you can see her tongue now her tongue has changed and it has a tremendous amount it looks like veins or a uh, different type of lines running through it see her t tongue change and then change back you can see her eyes turn pitch black can you see that folks
Deontay has officially left the building. You're going to see a very evil and sinister look come on her face as that entity has now. You can see the hate in the eyes of this demonic entity. Folks, this is not a joke. Millions of children, millions of young girls worship and idolize this demonic, satanic witch. She is nothing more than a, a, a child molester, as all Satanists are. She's a child murderer. Her music is to destroy the souls of as many people as she can. In 1993's Super Mario Brothers, we see one of the Twin Towers partly destroyed, resonating 9-11. Where do we start? King Koopa here. In Neon Double K, for King Koopa, echoing the K2 mountain can be seen atop one of the intact towers.
triggered a fire which burned for three hours before it was extinguished. Officials don't yet know the exact cause of the explosion, but believe a malfunction in the cooling system may have been at fault. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Drew Griffin in for Rick Sanchez. Let's get right to the breaking news, which uh, is not good. It's the Gulf of Mexico. The oil rig that exploded. This incredible video. That oil rig has now sunk. 8,000 barrels of oil leaking per day. The Coast Guard still searching for 11 missing people. Ali Velshi is going to join me just in a second. We're going to talk about financials. We're talking about oil capping, getting rid of that. But first, let's talk about the real uh, disaster here, which is the 11 crew members who are missing from that oil rig. The Coast and Guard me. is searching in the Gulf of Mexico this morning for survivors from an oil rig explosion and fire. The rig is located 52 miles off the Louisiana coast. The blast was reported at 10 o'clock local time last night. There were 126 workers on board. Most are safe. At least 11 still missing and 7 injured. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order because the global order is changing again. And the institutions and the rule that worked so well in the post-World War II era for decades, uh, they need to be strengthened. And some have to be changed. So we have to do what we do best. We have to lead. We have to lead. We have to update the global rules of the road. We have to, we have to do it in a way that maximizes benefits for everyone. Because obviously, it's overwhelmingly in our interest. This is not a zero-sum game. It's overwhelmingly in our interest that China prosper, that Mongolia prosper, that nations big and large, east and west. We have to level the playing field so that American companies and workers can compete in the world, that the competition is fair and it's healthy. To the first point, we came into office facing the worst financial recession since the Great Depression. We had to unfreeze